Well, here we are back for another Monday Music with Milani. Hope you've been having fun with us at WPSU's virtual summer camps. And let's start. got together we had birds this time as we get together we have cicadas can you hear them singing in the trees well I tried really hard to find a cicada free place to have our visit together and guess what I couldn't find one so we're going to have the cicadas as part of what's going on today this is actually delightful because the cicadas will only be here in Pennsylvania for a few more weeks so we may as well enjoy them while we have them well this week we have Monday Music with Milani, Tuesday Cooking, Wednesday Walks, Thursday STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, and Friday Art. And last week we got together and we talked about Antarctica. This week's theme is Australia. Did you see that butterfly go by? Maybe we'll have some other animals go by. Okay, so we're going to start with some patterns because that's our favorite thing to do. Music is full of patterns. And this is a song about traveling because the whole summer is about traveling. And this is not on a train. It is not on a boat. Not in a car. Not swimming. Not sailing. Uh, there are many other ways to travel. This is all about one way to travel. It's on a B U S. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. You know what? That sounds a little low for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What would happen if instead of using these two chords, I use these two chords? That puts it in a different place in my voice and your voice to sing. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Did you know that we could do that in music? Is that allowed? Yes, it is allowed. So uh, we're going to have total fun with the wheels on the bus. Those of you who are young and little, oh, there's a bee near me, are going to enjoy it a lot. And those who are older can shout out suggestions if we forget one, okay? Let's do it kind of fast, all right? Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round. Somebody's already shouting it. The next thing we usually sing is the doors. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. Okay, so we live in modern times where people use credit cards to pay with things and they use bus passes. Now we usually use a card to pay on a bus, but a long time ago you used coins. Some places you still do. So we're going to do the coin version. We will say, the coins on the bus go clink, clink, clink. The coins on the bus go clink, 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 clink. The coins on the bus go clink, 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 all through the town. There's a driver. And the driver says, move on back. Good. Oh, you guys are so smart. Here we go. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. Now we find a seat, and the seats on the bus go bumpity bump. The seats on the bus go bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump. The seats on the bus go bumpity bump, all through the town. Seems like every time we pause to get the next thing, the cicadas swell up and fill the air with all their sound. So after the seats go bumpity bump, we check the windows and the windows on the bus can go up and down. I can't believe this bee is so interested. Okay, we'll, I can't, I can't wait to see what animal comes up next. But in the meantime, let's do the windows. 
the windows on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The windows on the bus go open and shut all through the town. Did I say up and down and then I said open and shut? You know they're the same thing, right? Okay, that's true. There are some babies on this bus and the babies go wah, wah, wah. The babies on the bus go wah, wah, wah. talking about it or not but the more you learn about music the more you realize there are patterns we did the wheels on the bus and we could have used this pattern that made my voice go really low or we could have used this pattern which is the one we actually did that made my voice go in the middle in a very comfortable way that's what's called a key we have a different key for different songs and the key might be higher or lower or in the middle it just depends on what patterns you choose to back up your song now we're going to switch gears though because there's something else about the way that we build a song it's the counting the counting of the song sometimes called the time signature no there won't be a quiz it's just cool to know these things uh sometimes you'll have a song like the wheels on the bus and there's there's a there's kind of a beat behind it. You can say, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Can you hear this kind of ticking away behind it? Yeah, it's like a heartbeat. Keeps, keeps it going, keeps it alive, keeps it interesting. Well, there's another way that you can do the background of a song. Instead of doing this, you can do this. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stomp my foot and you won't be able to see it. But that's my foot. Oh, I better not shake the camera. So I'll just say, I'll just say one. I'll say one. So I'll say one, 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 one. That is a waltz. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Can you feel there's kind of a rock, rocking quality to that? And it's a dance. You could totally dance to that. Little known fact, a lot of popular songs are waltzes. Wheels on the bus is not. Wheels on the bus go round and round. But I'm going to show you one that is a waltz. Can you hear a one, two, three, one, two, three? Hear that? It almost makes you want to rock back and forth. Do you want to rock back and forth with me? the chords 
and that makes it even more interesting and happy. Here are the words that go with this waltz that you didn't even know was a waltz. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. You know what? Is my voice really low in that song also? Let's switch the keys in this one. Mm -hmm. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a far miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine, you are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. The whole way through that whole song, we have one, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to show you some more examples of that too. But before we do, I would like to make sure that you know I am not going to make you waltz during today's visit, but if you ever want to, you step together, step with your feet. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, see you for the next song. So what I did just there, la, 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 is I was checking to see how my voice went along with the chords that are in this song. And this is also a song that has three beats behind it, one clap, clap, one clap, clap, one clap, clap, one. You hear that in there? Do, 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 do. Do you know that song? Do, 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 do. You know it now. Somebody just said it. It's how much is that doggy in the window. If you know it, sing along. And if you don't, listen, because this is a good song to know. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. Now I would like you to help me every time we do that. When we get to the end of doggy in the window, could you please give me a bark, bark? Yes, thank you. Not too much, just two of them. Okay. Every time you hear that in the song, just join in, okay? How much is that doggy in the window? Bark, bark. The one with the waggly tail. Every time we come back to that, give me a good old bark bark. Okay. I must take a trip to California and leave my poor sweetheart alone. If she has a dog, she won't be lonesome. And the doggy will have a good home. Ready? How much is the doggy in the window? Bark, bark.
you did that so well. Listen, the cicadas are singing along with us. All right, see you for the next song. So we were talking about a waltz, and a waltz is that feeling of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that just kind of lives behind a song, and it makes it alive and makes it awesome. Well, sometimes you will hear a slow song that has that same feel of one, two, three behind it, but it is not a dancing tune, but it still has that same motion. I'm so delighted that there are bees and a butterfly just went by that you can share those with me. This is really special. And uh, those are cicadas, and yes, they're pretty loud, but they're not that loud. You can still hear me, right? Okay. So... that that was also a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. A song like that wouldn't sound right if you did it too fast. That's the kind of song that makes you really think and listen. I'm going to do just a little bit of it for you again. While I do it, listen to the beautiful sounds of nature all around us. And this is a song called Dona Nobis Pachem, which also means give us peace. song. I really enjoyed that, but it's time to turn it around and do something a little funny. I like all kinds of music. I like the beautiful slow things, but I also like the faster and funny things too. So, so far, all of these examples have had the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two going on. And this song is no exception. And I bet you know it. I'm just going to start singing. If you know it, go right ahead. Mm, on top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. was as tasty as tasty could be and early next summer it grew into a tree the tree was all covered with beautiful moss and very nice meatballs and tomato sauce Spaghetti, all covered with cheese. Here's the moral of the story. Hold on to your meatball and don't ever sneeze. 
Is that a happy ending? I'm not sure. Spaghetti, that's happy. Yeah. Okay, that was our... Well, how many waltzes did we do? Was that our fourth waltz? And guess what? There's another one coming. So hang on, I'll be back in just a minute. You may be saying to yourself, all right, some of these songs do have some motion and they talk about traveling. Wheels on the bus, that was traveling. Um, Clementine, not really so much traveling. They stayed in the same place. But did you notice in how much is that doggy in the window? They had to go to California, a trip to California. You Did you pay attention? Oh, good, you're paying attention. Dona Nobis Pacham, give us peace. That was us resting <laughs> before we travel to the next thing. On top of spaghetti, was there traveling in that one? Well, the meatball traveled in that one. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that one. But the next one is about our theme for today, which is Australia. Did you remember that from the beginning? That's right, our theme is Australia this week. There is a song that has the word waltzing in it that is kind of the unofficial theme of Australia. And the thing is, this song is not a waltz. It doesn't go one, two, three, one, two, three, like all of these songs we've been doing. But the word is waltzing, waltzing Matilda. Waltzing Matilda does not actually mean dancing with a person named Matilda. That is actually a term for walking around with a bag slung over your back. I guess the Matilda is the, the pack, the back? We'll have to do some research to find out about that. But waltzing Matilda, not a waltz, little known fact. There will be some words in here you don't know and I'll try and explain them as we go along. Okay, so um, waltzing Matilda means traveling on foot with a bag slung over your back and it's your bag is called a swag but I guess they also call it a Matilda I learned something while we were getting ready for today's visit and then there's a person named a swag man he's the guy who's walking with the swag over his back and he camps by a thing called a billabong and there's a jumbuck in this song the jumbuck is a little sheep Sheep are tasty and good to eat for people who like to eat meat. And there's um, a person who comes to catch this person because he stole a sheep and he says, you'll never catch me. And he he drowns himself in the billabong. So they, he's like, I jump in the billabong, you can't get me. <laughs> and there's a ghost at the end of the story. A fun one, it's not, it's not dark. This is a happy song, kind of. Once a jolly swag man camped by a billabong Under the shade of a coolaba tree And he sang as he watched and waited while his billy boiled Come a-waltzing Matilda with me This is the part that everybody recognizes Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me watched and waited while his billy boiled. Come a waltzing Matilda with me. Can you hear bum 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 bum? Not a waltz at all. Not at all a waltz. Whoever wrote this song should have also made it a waltz because it has the word waltz in it. I know. Down came a jumbuck to drink at that billabong. Up jumped the swag man and grabbed him with glee. And he sang as he stuffed that jumbuck in his tucker bag. You come a waltzing with Mil Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he watched and waited while his billy boiled. You come a waltzing Matilda with me. So far, he's happy. He grabbed that jumbuck and he stuck it in his tucker bag. But here comes the guy to catch him. Here's the verse about that. Up rode the squatter, mount is on his thoroughbred. Up rode the troopers, one, two, three. Where's that jolly jumbuck you got in your tucker bag? You come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang. 
watched and waited while his Millie boy you come a waltzing Matilda with me. This is really an Australian song. That's why we picked it for this week, because the theme is Australia. Okay, here comes the last part that has a ghost in it. Here we go. Up jumped the swagman and sprang into the billabong. You'll never take me alive, he said. And they, they didn't. And his ghost may be heard as you pass by that billabong. You come a waltzing Matilda with me. Here we go! Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he watched and waited while his Billy Boyle. You come a waltzing Matilda with me. Such a weird song. I really like that one. I like to find the cool, weird songs for you. And this one was from Australia. So neat. Well, we've got just one more thing and then we'll be done. But, oh, we've had a lovely visit. See you in a minute. Well, these cicadas are just having a wonderful time. If you are lucky enough to be in Pennsylvania right now and you have cicadas somewhere near you where you have a nice, cool spot to sit and listen to them, I would recommend, as part of Monday Music with Milani, please take some time today to find a place with cicadas and just enjoy them. Their song is only heard every number of years. It's not all the time. They're a special guest in Pennsylvania and in some other states up in the top right-hand portion of the United States. And so we really should take the time to enjoy them. We might miss them when they're gone. So we just did Waltzing Matilda, and I wanted to show you something really cool that I found while I was researching the song. So, we use music that is not copyrighted. It's old enough to have been around a really long time, and we know there's songs that people really like. Well, while I was looking up Waltzing Matilda, I found part of the original Waltzing Matilda by the person who first wrote it in eight. 1995. This is a picture of it. This isn't really it. But I wanted you to see. Do you see how they put notes and words? And clearly they wrote that with a pen dipped in ink. That's how people used to do things before there were computers and well, ballpoint pens and things like that too. You too can look this up with your grown-ups permission if you want to just Google waltzing Matilda and hit images. You may see exactly what I just showed you, except yours will be in color. So, I lost track of what we were doing. So we had, oh, well, just one last little important thing. This is a very, very popular song that many, many people know. It's also very, very old and it too is in the public domain. It is uh, music that is not copyrighted anymore and it is should I tell you okay um, before I tell you I'm just gonna remind you WPSU virtual summer camps Monday music with Milani Tuesday cooking Wednesday walks Thursday stem what was Friday art and now our very last song I'm going to add the words. Maybe somebody already figured it out. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Anybody have a birthday? Happy birthday to you. I'm going to say dear friends, okay? Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, in case it's your birthday, and even if it's not, we know it will be one of these days really soon. I will see you next week for Monday Music with Milani, and in the meantime, keep on watching WPSU's Virtual Summer Camps. Bye!